Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom scripted tiles for Unity style maps. For this tutorial you will need to set up a tile map and a tile palette. There are plenty of good tutorials about getting started with tile maps in Unity, so I'm not gonna waste time with it. Instead I will leave a good tutorial in the description if you need it. So, onto the tile map. But why would I need a custom tile anyway? You may be asking. Let's say you have a 5x7 block of tiles that repeat together, but not one by one. There's not really a simple and easy way to place down those tiles, only by selecting all of them and placing them carefully next to each other. And if you're making a custom level editor, it's pretty hard to implement. But don't worry, because you can make placing down these tiles really easy by creating a custom tile type. To make a custom tile, first you will need to create a script for it. Let's call it variable tile because I'm pretty bad at naming things. The first thing we will do is add using Unity Engine the tile maps to the top. Then delete the mono behavior and replace it with tile. As this will be a custom tile, we will use the tile class as our base class for the script. This script needs to include two methods. The first one is the refresh tile method, which will decide which tiles will be refreshed when placing down that specific tile. The other mandatory method is the get tile data method. This is the place where we will modify the tile data which will be placed on the tile map. For this example I made a method, which will return a sprite from an array based on the position of the tile. I had to experiment with the formulas to get it working properly, but it's not that complicated. Now that we have a method to get the correct tile based on the position, let's implement that in the get tile data method. To modify the output of tile, you just simply modify the tile data reference that is given in the method. To change the sprite, you just simply work tile data the sprite equals then your sprite. In this case, I'm going to set it to get sprite and give the location to the function. And that's it. But currently, there is no way to create this type of tile, so I need to make a function for it. Go back to the top of the script and type using Unity Editor. Since this code is only needed in the editor, we can put this line in between an if Unity Editor statement. This will make sure that this line of code won't be included in the built version of the game. After that's done, we can make a public static method to create an asset file. Write a menu item attribute above the method and set a path in the brackets, so you can create the file by right-clicking in the project window. In this method, we will call a function called editor utility that save file panel in project. This will open a file explorer window which will prompt you to select the path and the name to save. After this is done, we can use the return path to create an asset with the asset database that create asset function. Don't forget to give the function your type of tile. Now you can go back to Unity and create your custom tile. When you select your tile, it will show a bunch of other options you can set. These are default to the tile class. You could ignore them and make your own variables, but you can use them in the getTileData method by simply entering base.getTileData. This one was really simple, but what if we want to make a tile that changes based on the neighbors? Let's say we want to make a tile that shows how many neighbors it has and also make it so we can only count the specified kind of tiles. Let's start by setting up the script like before. After that, add the sprite array, where we can input our sprites, and the tile base array, for the tiles that we want to check for. We're using the tile base class because it's the base for every type of tile, so we can put anything there. We set up everything, so let's make a method to count how many edges and tiles this tile has. The method will return an integer, and will take in a tile map and a position. We'll make two for loops. Both of them will count from minus one to plus one. We'll use these two loops to get all of the edges and tiles positions. We'll check the tile map, and if the tile in that position is one of the tiles specified in our tiles to check array, we will add one to the tile count. After we checked all of the positions, we return the number of adjacent tiles. We'll use this number as our index for the sprites array. 
In the refresh tile method we don't only want to refresh the tile which is placed, but all of the neighboring tiles. So we can use the exact two for loops to refresh all of the nine tiles. And finally we will make the method to create our assets files. And that's it! Now we can go back to Unity and test it. Create the asset, assign the variables, and here we go. It works perfectly. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If yes, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. See ya!